Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakhak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that rule well, and blessings to the hopeful elect teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Um, yeah, pretty much, I just wanted to go straight into this video here. Um, and as you can see, this is these are my bookmark, uh, well, my list of bookmarks of, of uh, news articles that I come across that I, I save. Um, on RT News when I do my like you know daily scroll through the news articles I try to do a daily scroll you know um because you know we're commanded to be watchmen so you know this is what we're about man and um the first three articles on my list as you can see one was dated yesterday stating a bear mark bar, bear market already here brace for 20 percent stock plunge okay so that's obviously happening uh, we already took, you know, the apostles always talk about the global economy collapse. All right. The, the scriptures speak about um, go to now you rich men in James 5. Weep and howl for your riches, you know, riches are corrupted. You know, loosely paraphrasing. You know, all of these things are happening, man. You got the, the second article, uh, Macron's European army, which this is the one that I originally wanted to go into. All right. Lord willing. Right. Has arrived. It goes by the name Gillette Jones. Right, the yellow vests, and then the third one down. What? A six point seven or seven point six earthquake hits near New Caledonia. Hazardous tsunami waves possible. So, you know what, man? What I wanted to do is just basically read them top three articles right there. Mainly go into this one, uh, and then get some scriptures and just break it down, man, and filter everything that we're watching, you know, through the scriptures and blow the uh, blow the trumpet, which is what we're supposed to be doing, man, because. You know, Jake is out here playing. Jake don't seem to realize that, you know, we're in 2018. Hey, the Esau's pushing the mark of the beast heavy, man. And people are not even taking heed of that. All right. We've been teaching that. We've been blowing the trumpet. We've been sounding the alarm. And like I always say, man, an alarm is supposed to wake your ass up. Man. you got a lot of our people playing games and hitting the snooze button. You know, they, you know, they, you know, they got drool on their pillows and they, you know, they, they you know, they pull the duvet higher over themselves and they remain in darkness. Well, well, you know, we, you know, we jumped out of bed, man. We heard the alarm. We jumped out of bed. And now we, you know, we're out there blowing the alarm like the rest, like the rest of the men of the Lord that are doing that and blowing the alarm. And that's, that's what we're supposed to be doing. And we're seeing all of these things happening throughout the world today. And you're trying to tell me that we're not at the end. All of these uproars of the people, man, these signs and the prophecies that are playing out in these last days are here. OK, so let me just go into this uh, article right here. You know, as you can see, it was published 10th of December. All right. It says anyone who's ever tasted tear gas will attest how unpleasant it is. I tasted it in Paris. On Saturday the 8th of December as the city turned into a war zone. Okay. So you literally Paris man. We're talking about a so-called affluent nation. A country that's supposed to be doing uh, alright. Right. It's now turned into a war zone. You got 9 out of 10. And I, I read an article that said 9 out of 10 uh, uh, par uh, French people are down with this protest man. Alright. So people are pissed. It says and I am writing these words in a hotel room in central Paris. In the aftermath of a day of rage, unleashed by the self-styled Gillette Jaunes, the yellow vests, right? That's French for yellow vests. It says mass movement of latter-day enrages, angry ones, right? Of French revolutionary repute. And it was indeed a day that bore the hallmarks of a revolution underway, okay? A revolution underway. Remember, the scriptures speak about there shall be sedition among men, you know? And when you, when you go into that word sedition, it means a great uprising. In fact, we're going to get into that, okay? Or a rebellion against the uh, the uh, an authority, a governing body. Okay, it says, and it was indeed a day. In fact, it says even now, just after eight p.m., the unrest continues with the sound of wailing police sirens and helicopters hovering overhead, and seasoned mood music to my thoughts. And just today, I was with a brother man, and I was driving after I finished work. I don't picked up a brother man, and we saw in the sky a chin hook just flew over over my work van, man. All right, just flew over our heads and we were just like, yep, you know, more military presence. OK, more chaos, more rights taken from the people. OK, and this is obviously the elite's agenda, man. That's that order web chaos. They're trying to establish that new world order, man. We know that we're in the last days. That's why they're pushing the chip heavy, man. All right. That order web chaos, you know, them agent provocateurs all up in these crowds, you know, kicking things off and creating more turmoil, more panic and more chaos. All right. And with, with all of that chaos. It's going to be the, the ultimate resolution or solution is going to be to go to the government and to get that chip. Okay. 
That's just one uh, 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 aspect of what the elites are doing out here, man. There's so many different other things that they're doing in the dark that people don't even know know about, man. It's called the Hegelian dialectic. Apostle Gobar speaks about it all the time. Pressure from above and pressure from below. Look that word up, man. It says this chaos is taking place not in not in Syria, Venezuela, or Ukraine, but in Paris. So they're liking they're likening the the war zone in Paris. To the uh, war zone that's in Syria, Venezuela or, or Ukraine. And obviously it's not as bad. But at the same time, it's getting to the point now where upwards of the people, it doesn't matter where you are on the globe, man. You can be in a, a so-called affluent country, but, it, you know, it could turn into a war zone overnight. Look what happened in Turkey, what, a couple years ago or a year ago? You know, you had that coup that was staged in Turkey, man. You know? And it was, you know, rockets being fired, gunshots in the streets. You saw taxi cabs doing U-turns, man. You know, going down one road, they're seeing gunshots pop off. They're, they're doing U-turn, man. Three-point turns, going back the other way. Why? Because there's war. It's a war zone. All right? And, and our people ain't ready for this, man. Esau's sword is being sharpened, and our people don't even know what's coming around the corner, man. Jacob's Trouble, the concentration camps, man. Project Megiddo, all of these things, man. It says, it says, the city most synonymous with affluence, that's the spirit. Right, the city most uh, uh, most synonymous with affluence. Let's look up the word affluence real quick. All right, since that word keeps coming up, okay, affluence. Let me just type in the definition. Right, it says affluence, the state of having a great deal of money or wealth. Okay, in the synonyms, it says what? Synonyms, it says wealth, prosperity, opulence, fortune, richness, luxury. All of these luxuries are getting taken away bit by bit. From these so-called affluent countries and cultures, man. Okay? And liberalism of a European continent that increasingly finds itself bested or beset by a social unrest and political disruption. Okay? So, this is, what is, this is what's happening, man. You see all these pictures, man. These riots and stuff. Now, let's get the precepts out. Okay? And filter everything that's happening through the scriptures, man. Okay? Uh, second Ezra's, the ninth chapter from the top. And it says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou well understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, so we're supposed to be in the, in the spirit of measuring the time diligently, man. Watching for these key prophecies that are popping off. Remember, the Lord said his word weren't going to go out void. And that everything that is happening, the Lord's already established. It's already been written in paper, man. These words that are written on paper are faithful and true. Okay? None of these words will fail, man. The Lord said it was going to prosper in the thing where to he sent it. And that's why we're out there prophesying, man. The downfall of Esau's kingdom. The civil unrest. The martial law. The race riots. The famines. All of these things are coming, man. Store shelves being found empty. People don't even understand what's going on, man. Okay, but the elect are going to understand. It says, there, verse 3, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. And you can't tell me that the gilet jaunes, you know, the yellow vests, you can't tell me that that's not signs of the times, man. If you're measuring the sign of the time diligently, then you would understand that this news article right here is just a part of prophecy, man. Biblical prophecy that was written thousands of years ago. All right, and people say, oh yeah, the white man wrote the book, you believe in the white man's book and all of that. But hold on a minute, bro, this book speaks about prophecy, this book condemns the so-called white man. Okay, this book uh, declares uh, the, 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 the Jews as black, so-called black people, black unto the ground, different variations of brown. Okay, this uh, book describes the Lord as being a so-called black man when they depict him as an Edomite. Okay, come on, bro, they depict him as having leprosy. This can't be the so-called white man's book. This is our book, man. The Lord, uh, the book, the book was given unto the Israelites, and furthermore, the Israelites are the ones that are under the curses. The Israelites are the ones that went in the cargo slave ships, man, sold unto their enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. No man has brought us to this day. So how can you tell me this is a so-called white man's book, bro? All right, and again, and I say the so-called white man because, but uh, you're gonna have some of our people that look like so-called white people. Why? Because our seed has been scattered, man. We're of the sands of the sea. Our seed has been scattered among so many different nations, you can't even tell just by the colour of a man's skin. You now have to go through the spirit. And if a man believes, he believes. And he, he, he you know, if, if a man believes, he's potentially of the elect, man. Okay, so this ain't a thing about colour, man. 
Okay, the Lord doesn't see as man seeth, man. The, looks at, the Lord looks at the heart of man. Okay? The inward parts. Okay? It says, Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And what you've got to understand is, Esau is the end of the world. His kingdom is crumbling, man. That's why Trump's going around saying, make America great again. Well, if, if you've got to go around saying, let's make America great again, that, that implies that America is no longer at its great state that it used to be. So you can't tell me that America's on the up and up. America's on the down and down, which means that Esau's kingdom is going down. It's through. And that's why he's trying to establish the RFID microchip and, and he's pu pushing that out on the people, man, because he knows that he has but a short time. Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak down in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. These words weren't going to go out void, man. Right? The light has come. We ain't in gross darkness anymore. The light has been shone on us. And now we're out there shining the light. The Lord says what? No man that have a candle put it under a bushel, man. You're supposed to let your light shine before men that they may see your good works. We are out there reproving, rebuking and exhorting with all long suffering. We're the ones that are doing that. We're the ones that are rebuking in the gate. Ain't no other nation doing that. You ain't seeing a bunch of gooks stand up. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you know, they ain't doing that. You're seeing the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans do that. Why? Because we're the prophets, man. All right? We're the Israelites. We're the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. We're the great army, the spiritual great, exceeding great army that was prophesied to stand up in these last days, man. You're seeing prophecy play out at, at, at its peak right now, man. Popping off like popcorn all over the place. Like Apostle Ricard says, man. These prophecies are popping off like popcorn, man. Okay? Let me go down to the point, man. Um, yep, here we go. It says, verse 14, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And what you got to understand is, hey, that main sword is talking about the ICBM missiles, man. All right? The nuclear missiles are going to uh, completely destroy America, man. Yes, America is Babylon the Great. Yes, America is known as the hammer of the whole earth, uh, according to the scriptures. Yes, America is also described as that great city, that mighty city. Okay, which is the Babylon thou art to be destroyed, man, right, which is going to be turned into a barren, desolate wasteland and only the uh, desert dwelling creatures are going to be dwelling there, man. That can't be talking about ancient Babylon. That's talking about America, man. Spiritually Sodom and Egypt, legalizing gay marriage, man. Pyramid on the back of the dollar bills. Cities named after Egyptian cities, man, like Memphis. Building pyramids in America to the same scale of the pyramids that were built in Egypt. How do you explain that, man? How do you get out of that? You trying to tell me that the Lord hasn't revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets? You trying to tell me that the Lord hasn't told us these things? You know, hasn't shown us the secrets? We've got the we, we've got the hundred percent breakdowns, man. Apostle Taha always says that we've got the hundred percent truth. We're the ones that are out there on the highways and the byways, man, preaching the word in season and out of season, man, speaking the words of prophecy which the Lord commanded us to do. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. Right? And you're seeing that, man. Right? One people standing up to fight against another, man. Look at this, man. Gillette Jones. This is happening in France, man. A so-called affluent country, man. Now what? You know, where you gonna go, man? The prophecies are speaking. And swords in their hands. A sword represents a killing instrument, man. Okay? And it's only going to get even worse. Right now they're using rubber bullets. But there's going to come a time where they're going to get the green light to use. The, the army's going to be rolled out, man. You know? You're going to have certain troops rolled out just to do Esau's bidding, man. And they're going to lay Jake down cold, man. The scripture says the dead shall be cast out as dung. These are the times that we're coming into, man. For there shall be sedition among men. And invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the courses of their actions shall stand in their power. So now let's get that word sedition, because I said I was going to go into it real quick. Sedition, spirit, I looked it up uh, recently, so it's come up quick, man. Right, it says, a rebellion from mid-14th century, this is etymonline.com, a rebellion, a uprising, a revolt, okay? And what are they revolting about in France? The, the, the increases in the taxes on, 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 on fuel, man. Okay, so they rebelled. The people are rebelling against increasing taxes on fuel. 
Okay, this is an uprising against the, the, the government, man. Okay, it says what? Which the word government means mind control, man. Right? Govern to me means to control and meant it means mind. Govern to control the mind. Alright? The people are, 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 are revolting against the those that seek to control the mind. Okay, it says violent strife between between factions. It says what? A concerted attempt to overthrow civil authority. Violent strife between factions, civil or religions, ci civil or religious disorder, riot, rebelliousness against authority. Is this not a riot? Is this not a rebelliousness against authority? Is this not sedition we are seeing among men? Tell me that this ain't prophecy, man. Tell me the prophecies ain't speaking. And that is why we believe in this word. Because there's prophecy speaking and there ain't nothing that anyone can do to stop him, man. The gates of hell shall not prevail, man. These things are happening. Hey, hey man. Yahweh Shai is coming back as well, man. Alright? For now is your salvation nearer than when you believe. You so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans, man. You better repent, man. Alright? For now is your salvation nearer than when you believe. The Lord says, seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near, man. This is the time that we're in. We're in a time of calling upon our power, man. Lest you get caught out there, man, with your pants down. No power to call upon, no defense, no strong tower to call upon. But in a time of distress, you want to call upon the name of the Most High. You want to call upon God, okay? You want to call upon uh, 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 Allah and Vishnu and all of that. All these false gods. When the ultimate power, you know, for you Israelites is Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's the name that you should be calling upon, man. Praying in those names. Praying to strengthen you for the times to come. When that time comes, man, the scripture speaks about what? Wisdom and knowledge being the stability of our time. Let's get that, man. Okay? Because I could go, hey, man, I could go on so many more precepts on this, man. But you know what? I'm going to just cut it. Like I said, I didn't want this to be too long. And Lord willing, I'll, I'll revisit this topic, man. Because this is one of my favorite topics anyway, man. You know, up rules of the people, the prophecy speaking, man. That, hey, man, I can't look, man. I live to, I live to see this stuff because it means, look, you know what, man? Esau's kingdom is out on its way out and our kingdom is on its way up, man. That's what it means when you see these things. Esau's losing his grip. It says, and wisdom, Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Right? So what you got to understand, if you ain't got this wisdom and knowledge, if you ain't got the oil, man, in that time, you don't have the understanding, the you know the first, you know the principles of this truth. Getting the understanding, you, you know you're gonna be caught out there, man. You ain't gonna have no cloak for your sins. You're gonna be through, man. All right, you're gonna be getting munched by a pit bull or a tiger or a lion. You're gonna be getting shot down. You're gonna be getting uh 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 uh, uh you know uh, uh you know uh there's gonna be cannibals out here. You're gonna be dying of famines. You know. You're going to be eating your own children. These are the things, these are the times that we're coming into, man. All right? But, yeah, hey, the elected, they're going to be cool, man. You know? They're going to be, even the elected, it's the scripture says the elect shall scarce, scarcely be saved, man. Okay? When, when you go into that word, uh, scarcely, it's, it means very hardly, man. Or rarely. All right? It says the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is his treasure, man. So you got a fear, you know... It's all about fearing your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. If you don't fear the Lord, man, then fuck. You know, fuck to hell with you, man. You gonna learn to fear, okay? You gonna learn to fear. When when you know when they when they're using real bullets rather than rubber bullets, and war comes to a doorstep near you, that's when you are gonna learn to fear, man. That's when you are gonna be calling upon God, okay? Francis climbed down on fuel taxes, act of panic, okay? Francis climb down on fuel tax is an act of panic amid insurrection and possible revolution. Okay? You can't tell me that this isn't prophecy, man. So with that, man, Lord willing, you are more edified. And like I said, man, I could go into so much more. You could even continue reading on if you want, man. You know? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That's martial law. For because of their pride, their cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, men shall be afraid. In times of war, in times of war, there are no rules. Right? In times of war, there ain't there ain't no 999, there ain't no 911, there ain't no police, no, no authorities to call upon. It's you and your family, and that's it. Alright? If your family get taken out, it's just you. Now, now what? Okay, your wife gets taken out. There's just you and your son or you and your daughter. Now what? 
Jake, you gonna feel, man. And there's a saying, man, whoever don't learn must feel, man. You don't learn, you must feel, okay? So with that, I'm gonna say shalom, man.